Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Mobile Application Tester. We are in chapter one talking about the mobile world and continuing ahead with the next tutorial which is 1.2 Business Models for Mobile App. When it comes to business models, a mobile application tester should equally be well versed with what kind of business models does your mobile app basically fall under. Because there are different uh, business models which any organization or an app can follow. That making sure that which business model does your mobile app falls under can definitely make you a proficient tester in order to meet that business model expectations as well. So there are several models which can be used to monetize the work done in creating a mobile application. Of course, the reason why you create a mobile app is to basically attract users and make some sort of money from them. Of course, there is nothing which is generally called as voluntarily creating a free app and does not have anything in return. Why would you invest so much money in an app like that? But yeah, definitely a big organization who doesn't really need a return from such things but want to do something as a courtesy to every individual can definitely come up with such apps. But of course, we are talking about the business models where you create an app to have some returns in different manners. That's where we bring to you a different set of all the uh, business models which we can talk about. So these includes but are not limited to a freemium, advertisement-based, transaction-based, fee-based, and enterprise applications. In addition, in-app purchases can be applied to some of these models in together. There are certain advantages and disadvantages for each of these approaches and the tester should keep the business model in mind whilst testing the mobile application. How would that happen? What a mobile tester really need to take into account when testing such different different models when talking about creating and testing a particular mobile app? To get started with, the very first one we are talking about is the freemium model. The freemium model, the application are generally free, but users have to pay if they need additional features in that. The application need to provide sufficient features to be attractive to the user, whilst the same, at the same time, providing advanced features for which a large number of users would be willing to pay. You may talk about any sort of games or any sort of such entertainment applications where definitely some of the part of it is completely free to use. But if you want some quick responses, maybe you want to buy some armory while playing a game or maybe talking about some of the certain entertainment apps where you want to have a pro version of it, you may have to pay something equally. Just an example, like we're talking about YouTube. By default, YouTube is free for everyone, but if you don't want to have ads on the videos, you can definitely have a premium subscription of YouTube by paying an extra amount and you can definitely get rid of these ads which come in our video as well. Advertisement based application which is another one category of the business model where we do have uh, apps where generally advertisement pop-ups though your application is completely free to use. Now here, it, this type of business model generally displays advertisement on the screen as the user interacts with the application. This strategy for revenue generation is more effective if the applications are used for relatively long periods where the ads keep changing on the screen and you see multiple ads for the time being. That's where you find blog spots or the blogs which are written on the website definitely have a great interaction. The only reason is you spend a lot of time reading every content, thus you see simultaneously a lot of different ads and the bloggers make money out of it. The same way, the apps can be related to the same, where you can have different apps which will have great number of advertisements and you spend a lot of time reading them. So this is where the user interface designer must take care of when displaying the advertisement that what is the right positioning of the apps or the advertisements within the app where you don't really you know distract people just with the ads so and also keeping it aside that people do not bother but yes the ad is displayed to them they must be prominent enough without hiding essential parts of the application and they must ensure that the users are not distracted and dislike using the application sometime when having too much of ad notifications can in fact prompt you to and install the app. Moving up to the next is the transaction based applications where generally these applications are related to make money from whenever you make a transaction using their app and you can definitely relate to some of their apps like you know when you talk about Google Pay, you talk about Paytm, you talk about any other wallets which you use in the day to day life today. 
So transaction-based applications charge the user either per transaction, a flat fee or a percentage of the transaction value or something similar to that. This type of business model is suitable for a limited number of applications only and is usually applied for business and financial apps such as mobile wallets. A fee-based application requires the users to pay for downloading and installing the application. For example, when you try to download a particular app from a poop uh, App Store or Google Play Store, you definitely will be prompted that, okay, you have to pay so much money to download this particular game or you cannot download it. Now, these are completely fee-based applications. Once you pay it, you may be charged monthly on that on a cyclic basis or you might have an annual subscription fee to utilize such things. Again, you can talk about all the hot uh, you know, hot apps which generally provide you the web cities these days. They have a subscription fee involved in that. So they do not have any such thing called as a free version to watch anything free of course. Everything is paid but having a membership of it. So fee-based application require the user to pay for downloading and installing the application. Designing on a fee-based uh, business model should be well considered since large number of free or freemium options exist for most application types. So making it something which is based on a cost must have some quality features under that which attracts people to purchase it instead of going for free or freemium based applications. The probability of the users buying such apps increases if it provides outstanding features or usability or when competing applications are not available at all. Free and enterprise applications do not charge their user at all. Enterprise applications are developed for internal use within the organization and provide an interface to the service provided. And you would definitely love to see such apps when you work in an organization or you're a part of an education committee or maybe a university student. You do have apps which are created by the colleges or the schools or maybe your enterprise altogether. And they don't want you to charge what they pay you as a salary from. So they generally say that the app is completely free. But yes, every employee must be downloading this in order to interact with it. And you don't really have to make any payments for such apps which are created for benefits of their team or, you know, students or maybe even the employees. So that's all to talk about in a simple form that what are the business models and how the business models impact the business apps and may be relevant for a business tester, in fact, the mobile application tester to take into account and meet all the expectations of that. So this is where we were just talking about the business models. Hope you had a good understanding of it. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.